This is Twit. Um, so it was two weeks ago, it was Amazon. Last week, it was Microsoft. <laughs> this week, it was a Cloudflare. Uh, and, you know, what we learn each time these cloud services go down is how much big sites are dependent on them. Spotify was down. X was down. OpenAI was down. I did my beat check uh, using RSS feeds, and my software couldn't get RSS feeds from so many sites uh, that I uh, use. Everybody uses Cloudflare. Somebody pointed out, you probably don't need to use it if you're not worried about getting DDoSed, right? Um, maybe maybe rethink that dependency on a single point of failure. It Molly. is kind of nice, though, to have the, when you accidentally screw up your web server, having it serve from the last live is very nice. But there are non-Cloudflare uh, uh, options for that. I, are you on Cloudflare? Just out of curiosity. No, I am on Fastly. Ah, Ooh. I like Fastly. Yeah. yeah. And they have a very nice program where they support uh, open source developers and oh, other good. developers okay. by providing free... Um, uh, cloud services, which is very nice. My posse site, I do the same thing as you do, is a microblog. And I don't very think good. that went down. I think he's on AWS. And we do, here at Twit, we use DDoS production, but I won't tell you who it is. But you now know it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not Cloudflare. <laughs> All of our services were Cloudflare. And so we lost most. Oh, the Vatican yeah. was down. Mm. Wow, uh, it happens. The company, the company I work for that actually pays the bills, they use Warp from Cloudflare. So even though they weren't served, that's how we, uh, as employees, connected. And so that went down. And as a home labber, I use Cloudflare uh, tunnel, tunnels uh, to yes, have access to my yeah. home lab outside. Is that of the in lieu of TailScale? Yes, in lieu of TailScale. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, you could use TailScale or AWS or some other service, and they could yeah. be down. I mean, all of these Pangolin. are seven points of failure. Uh, you, Molly posted a uh, revised XKCD cartoon, Chad Loader. I revised it. The entire This is the old cartoon where the entire internet is based on one little library written by some guy in Indiana. The entire internet is based on these little tiny toothpicks holding up everything aws and uh, cloudflare i don't know aren't aws uh, and cloudflare one... the two big ones at the bottom though the two the two big flat ones yeah. at the bottom that should be aws and cloudflare right i guess it, it depends a little bit on if you're interpreting like how much of the internet they hold up or how good they are at doing it <laughs> yes well there should be Notice one the toothpicks are one... holding up the big flat one so there should be one pole below that that says bgp because, because oh border gateway God. protocol holds everything together and it always breaks it always breaks it's so Wonderful easy like to misprogram bgp remember that a couple of years ago somebody Ooh. accidentally uh post put a, something on their bgp that routed all the traffic in the yep. world to they advertised all the routes they said give it all to us and bgp <laughs> said okay in sure. the pacific why not <laughs> bgp <laughs> says you 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 got it boss uh, but the, cl the Cloudflare failure actually, it was they had a decent report on it. And, that's what uh, one thing we like yeah. about Cloudflare. They're very forthright, right? Mm -hmm. They so what what did Matthew Prince say went wrong? They've got a thing called bot management, which uh, allows them to detect whether or not activity that's coming in is from actual users or from an automated system. Very important when you're trying to alleviate DDoS problems. The issue was there's a thing called the feature file, and the feature file is sort of instructions to the entire network of bot management servers that gives them sort of their marching orders. At some point, someone made a change to that feature file, and I guess fat fingered it. It Whoops. doubled in size, doubled more than double the size that it was supposed to be. And unfortunately, that was automatically propagated to all the machines that did bot management. And it crashed. They all crashed because that that file it too big. has a, a it was a yeah it has a limit on how large it can be. So yeah. it was double the the file limit. All those machines shut down yeah. without the bot management. The entire network went down. That's just yeah. Yeah. Here's the graph. Uh, they it, it, Prince writes that initially they thought they were being DDoSed. They pretty quickly realized they had <laughs> they had it was just a foot gun. And uh, they were the ones who uh, fired. They the... kind of DDoS themselves. Yeah. <laughs> it was a self-DDoS. Yeah. Cloudflare yeah. has been like growing exponentially the last 
I don't know, 12, oh, yeah. 18 months to the point where they're adding services. They're, they're becoming more of a provider. I think, what was it just, is it last month or the month and a half ago that they said that they're going to basically make all of their services, enterprise level services, self-service for everyone. So you can oh, just geez. go in and just buy it yourself, no matter what they offer to everyone. You don't need to talk to a salesperson. So they have been scaling so quickly Damn. that I think that they haven't built the automated systems for some of the new things that they are. There's creating. another reason for that, because if you automate it, then you're not as responsible. So but, when the Nazis you can automate use... check, you can check, you can, you have automated checkers, not necessarily automated doing everything, okay. but you could have it in such a way where you could say, this doesn't look right. Are you sure you want to push this? Yeah. You uh, know, Cloudflare did me a solid uh, with the, the Minecraft server that what, eight years ago, we started getting DDoSed and they reached out and they have a thing called Project Galileo, where they will help small entities that are suffering because they're being DDoSed uh, out of religious hate, political hate, et cetera, et cetera. So they said, we will give you wow. in perpetuity our entire enterprise package. It was like a $10,000 package and it solved everything. Every single issue we had with the server just went away. So I, I have trouble saying anything bad about them. I think in many ways, they're really a boon, but it does point out that uh, there, if, a, if there's a single point of failure, yes. that's... Yeah always risky but this is how the cloud is there's always a single point of failure somewhere and, right and they went down when gcp went down yes. as well and mm -hmm. so the, this is one of those things where it's just like yeah it's it's any point of failure in the, any link in the chain that's broken could cause issues and that's externally and internally yikes do any of you use cloudflare for your uh, domain registrations i do I do. I, all of ours. We have. I like didn't know they did 6, domain registrations. Oh mm -hmm. yes, yes. I got if burned. They ever I, did... tried, I did it with Google domains for a while because uh, they, they seem simple and cheap, and Google's going to be great. And then they <laughs> they yeah, killed no, right? it. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> it's <laughs> how many times does Google have to fool us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fool it's every once. single service. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no. I think, uh, yeah, I think in the, for the most part, I've always been a fan of Cloudflare. Uh, Cloudflare. Uh, John Graham Cumming is, a, of yeah. course, a friend of the network. Uh, I've known him for years. He was their CTO. We actually just had him on Intelligent Machines recently. He's now just on the board. He's retired as CTO. Um, so I always thought they were well run. I, I had a little bit of an issue with them uh, when they went after perplexity. Yeah, oh, that was, yeah, okay. And this is the same issue I have with Google, which is when you when you are the choke point for so much traffic and you decide to use your power to enforce something, which Google's done with, for instance, HTTPS everywhere, you could say, well, that's a good thing, but it also gives them an awful lot of power. Google's also decided that they want a domain certificates to expire like in 30 seconds. I don't know what it is now. It's like fast, right? And I understand why they're doing that, but I, I think that's too much power for them to tell the internet, the entire internet, yeah, these certificates last too long. Or yeah, you got to be HTTPS. I don't need to be HTTPS at Twit. We don't, there's no logins. There's no, there's no accounts. Um, I guess you, maybe somebody could use us as a man in the middle. I mean, we, we had to go out and we had to buy an expensive at the time, very expensive certificate uh, for that. Um, and that was because Google said you had to. So Cloudflare decided that, well, we don't think, uh, we don't think perplexity should be allowed to search sites uh, because they're AI and they're using it to train. Perplexity said, we're not using it to train. A user has said, perplexity, tell me about this site. So we go to the site and we load it. But now Cloudflare is saying, no, no, our bot, protection says you can't do that because you're ai and i think that there's legitimate causes on both sides but i what bothered me is it felt like cloudflare had a little too much power in that conversation you guys agree that so unilaterally be able to just shut them out yeah and it's interesting because that. cloudflare has made arguments in the past about not taking actions based on that sort of exact same logic is that like, oh, we're just an infrastructure layer, you know, we don't want to be making any decisions on who can and cannot use our services. Um, and so they sort of pointed to that when it was convenient. But then, you know, when they right. decided that they don't want perplexity doing something, suddenly they're fine with taking a decision. Yeah. 
I, I just don't like the centralization of power. That, that, that worries me. By the way, El Duterino in our Discord chat is pointing out that uh, Galileo, which is a service that Cloudflare has <laughs> yes. donated to the Vatican, is named after, you might remember him. <laughs> An astronomer I, I might who have had heard a the name dispute. a few times. Uh, yeah. Uh, didn't, you, didn't they burn him at the stake? I think they did. I think they did. I, 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 I will, I will they point out. They have apologized. Okay. The okay. same office of the Inquisition that yes. prosecuted Galileo also yes. prosecuted the founder of my religious order, St. Ignatius of Loyola. So we made kind of oh. kindred spirits there. Yeah, their mistakes mistakes were made. In and actually, I'm sorry, they did not burn him at the stake. No. Uh, they, we just said we imprisoned him. Uh, just not, killed uh, him not for him. life. Yeah. We, we house arrest. He was under house arrest. He yeah, was, was forced nice house. to eat that terrible food in your, uh, was, in your... No, no, no. They had good food back then. It's just us. <laughs> the issue anyway. with, I think, with Cloudflare is that the I, they bring up really valid points. And I, I am a big fan of Cloudflare. Yes. The, the issue where it becomes really questionable is that they give an avenue where people can pay your way around correct the wall that they're building which is always a little suspect where like you can't do this unless you have the right amount of money and then now our morals and ethics maybe they can be bought <sighs> <laughs> same as it ever was same as it ever was yeah all right well so it, i mean there's nothing to see here they had an outage and the thing that cloudflare is great about is they were very forthright even to the point where they posted an internal Slack uh, message from Matthew Prince saying, we're being DDoSed, <laughs> which I thought was, you didn't have to be that honest, Matthew. It's okay. <laughs> hey, I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from a much longer show we call This Week in Tech. If you want to see the whole thing, there's a link down below. And you know what the best thing to do would be? Like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs>